So for today's video, I'll be cooking some pork chop. This will be a simple recipe, just um, pan searing it with salt and pepper. And the reason why I'm doing it is I want to try out this pasture raised pork that I got from Thrive Market. So this is my first time trying out pasture raised pork. I've tried pasture raised um, chicken and duck in the past, but it seems that in grocery stores, you can't really get, they don't really sell pasture raised pork products it's all just conventional pork that you know it's not too good in the sense where they are being overcrowded and the quality of the pork is just not there so my first time trying it and i'm just using a simple recipe of salt and pepper and grilling it um till it's medium rare so that i can taste the authentic taste without any kind of like extra flavorings at first day i will be tasting the porkiness and the tender and then the juiciness of the meat itself to determine whether is it you know was it really worth my money but in general this was wasn't too expensive this was a value pack which came with a variety of meats so it costed about a hundred dollars including shipping and I actually compared it to buying similar ranges of pork products on Whole Foods and it costed about the same. Yeah, it didn't really cost that much. And this meat is also humanely raised. So here in the website, Thrive Market says that they're sourcing their pasture raised pork from a small family farm in Georgia called White Oak Pastures. Their pork is raised um, on a rotational basis, so they rotate their pork throughout their farms and they're mostly eating acorns nuts and grass so natural stuff that and not um gmo green in a sense there so i'll leave a link at the like below the like button about their pork and you can try it out if you're interested but let's get on to the recipe itself so the first thing that i did a couple hours back was to put the pork chops in a salt brine so i basically heat up some water put some salt and then cool that liquid down with some cold water and then put the pork chop inside and put it in the fridge to brine so let me take that out and let's start so here is my brine and i just pulled out from the fridge so this is just salt mixture and the pork chop is in the center but before i get started i'm going to preheat my oven to 425 degrees fahrenheit um, that will be used after I'm done searing the pork chop in the on the pan and also stick my cast iron pan inside to get it warmed up so when I'm done seasoning this um, it should be hot enough so the first thing that I want to do is to put it out so as you can see here this piece has a nice fat cap on the top here and not too much marbling but a good amount of marbling good amount of fat here this bone here so i'm going to pat it dry here with some paper towels so that the seasoning will here and also they'll have a nice sear so that salt brine there should give it some good amount of taste so next up, I'll be seasoning it with some kosher salt and some black pepper here on all sides, so including the fat cap here. So I'll get a nice sear on it. Okay, that looks good to go. So that is how it looks right now. So now I'm going to heat up my cast iron pan here. So it's heat up a little bit in the oven. So I'm going to turn it on to medium high heat. So I'll give a few minutes to get it heat up. And I'll put some oil onto it and start searing the pork. All right, while waiting for that, the pan to heat up in the stove top, I'll talk about what I'm going to do in the next few minutes. So the pork is going to be cooking on the stove top, mostly just to get some browning and some colors on all the edges so that will take about five to six minutes for all sides to get some browning and once that's done i'm going to pop it into the oven which is currently preheating to 425 degrees fahrenheit and that will be in there for about like seven to eight minutes depending on 
how fast it goes but overall throughout the whole process i'll be flipping it every one to two minutes that's to prevent the pork chops from curling up and yeah i think it's heated up right now so i'm going to add in some oil and we'll start searing the pork chop that's a good amount of like avocado oil here Got my handy dandy splatter gut here to prevent any kind of splatter. So now the pork chop is about it's about 135, 140 Fahrenheit on the thickest point. So I'm gonna leave the rest for about five minutes before cutting into it. In the meantime, I'm going to be cutting this avocado to pair with the pork chop. So I'm gonna have some avocados on the side. It's down here. Cut out some nicely ripe avocado here. To scoop this avocado in. So for these kind of avocados, when we think them raw like that, um, I like to add some finish, nice finishing salt. So I have some Malden um, smoked sea salt here. Now I just sprinkle on top to give it some to bring out the sweetness in the avocado. So as you can see, the thickest point here is about a 150 degrees, which is a little over medium rare, but that's good enough. Let's see. Time to cut into it. Likewise here. You can see? It's nice and pink. Still a little bit pink in the center. Nice and juicy. Yeah, this looks good. Alright, so now it's time. Everything is cooked properly. I'm gonna give it a try here. So this is a piece with the fat cap on the top. I'm gonna give it a try. Yeah, this pork chop is very tender. The brining that, that helped the juiciness of the pork, but I think by itself, it does have a nice natural juiciness and also the, the meat is tender. You can see if I start squeezing it, the juices start falling out and that's good. So it's real delicious, I think. So definitely, so yeah, definitely try out pasture raised pork if you do have access to it. I think there is like slight difference there and it's also better for the environment and also so better for the pigs itself they raise in a better way they get a natural feed not just having those GMO, GMO corn and um, being confined in those small spaces so yeah this has been good um, I'll leave the the step-by-step -step instructions of what I did in this recipe and I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching um, please comment below if you have any experiences or any good or if you know any other places where I can get some pasture raised pork. And I'll see you in the next one. That's good.